The average person is unfulfilled, unhappy, distracted, and completely unproductive. Even amongst entrepreneurs, right? We still see those people that stay in the exact same position year after year. I don't know about you, but that is probably one of my biggest fears. Today in this video, I'm gonna break down how to actually be productive, actually focus, actually get the things done that you want to get done. Now, this isn't gonna be some BS guru video. I'm not gonna tell you to go and do some red light therapy and some sauna work. I'm actually gonna give you a mental model that has helped me uh, become way more productive. Now, why am I qualified to even talk about this, right? I'm not a multimillionaire, I'm not a billionaire, um, but I have built a, a company to 50K a month whilst studying full-time at university. So I've had to balance both of these massive things um, and I've been pretty successful so far. Um, and I think that's all because of this uh, mental model that I'm gonna break down to you right now. So why are people so unproductive, unfulfilled, unhappy, distracted? I think it's because they have too many inputs. Now, what do I mean by that? I've got a brand new sexy whiteboard here. That I'm gonna try and illustrate um, illustrate this, this concept to you with, okay? So we've got, you know, your average Joe here, right? A nice little stick man. And if you think about the modern individual, think about how many inputs they have going into their, into their brain, into their, into their, um, their consciousness, right? You've got, you've got TikTok videos, you know, thousands, if they're, if they're, if they're a social media con, you know, consumer, as almost all of us are, you know, they've got thousands of different TikTok videos. They've got all this different food that they're eating, right? They're eating, you know, burgers, carbohydrates, um, just terrible, terrible food, all these different ingredients. So you've got, you know, videos, ingredients, you've got, you know, diff loads of different people, right? You're interacting with like 30, 40, 50 different people, um, both virtually and in person. Um, you know, what else? You've got people's, you know, opinions hitting you left, right and center, right? both online and in person again. And so the average person is just completely overwhelmed by all these different inputs, right? And it's way more than your brain can handle. If you think about it now, again, this is, this is um, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm some kind of scientist here, but this is genuinely what I've observed to be true. If you think like evolutionarily speaking, where we've come from, um, we just really didn't have that many inputs, right? Uh, and when I mean inputs, I mean, you know, things going in, right? So you know, things like content, things like opinions, things like food, all this, all this kind of stuff. Really, the only inputs that we had were, were you know, a, a few basic ingredients, um, you know, and, you know, you know how, how cold were we? How hungry were we? How, um, you know, fearful were we? That was, that was literally it. And so now in the, in the modern day, in 2024, we've got way too many inputs that's completely overwhelming us. Um, and so the topic of this video is gonna be a little bit more about how to guard your inputs, right? and how to, in a complete world of distraction, stay focused and actually be productive, right? Because this is the lesson, right? Productivity, it's not about being more productive. It's just avoiding being distracted, right? The whole goal is just to inverse the problem entirely and just evolve, avoid distraction. And that's incredibly hard to do when you have a bunch of different uh, inputs coming in. So let's, let's break this down further. What I want you to do while I'm kind of illustrating this is I want you to kind of think about the areas that you have in your life. Now, maybe you're an agency owner, uh, maybe you're an e-com brand owner. Most likely you're gonna be an entrepreneur or maybe you just want to start a business. And I mean, for anyone really who's watching this, you're gonna have a few main areas of your life. You're gonna have your work life, right? Uh, you're gonna have, you know, your, your leisure time. Um, and then you're also going to have, you know, the things, the, the biological kind of inputs that you, that you need to live, right? So your diet, your sleep, things like that, right? Let's say those are the three main areas of life. I feel like that's relatively uh, uncontroversial. And what I've observed is that people have so many things within, the, within, within these subcategories, right? So, for example, their leisure time is going to consist of uh, watching, you know, 100 TikTok videos. It's going to consist of watching... I don't know, four YouTube videos. It's gonna consist of watching, or I don't know, or potentially speaking to you know, 20 different people and hearing their opinions on, on what you're doing in your life. Um, and, and that's what they do you know, every day, right? Say this is a pretty you know, active extroverted person. Um, their biology, they're eating uh, you know, fast food, right? Which has, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different ingredients in. If you look at the, when I say an ingredient, you look at the back of a packet of food, that, that those little, you know, those little, um, the kind of small print, each, each word, each ingredient is what I'm talking about there. 
Um, and so they've got the, all these vast different amount of inputs when it comes to their diet. Um, you know, and then when it comes to work, say that, let's say they're an entrepreneur, um, maybe an agency owner, they're, they're constantly jumping on new projects. They're starting new things. They've got five different, uh, five different sort of ventures going on at the same time. They've got, you know, three podcasts. <laughs> They've got, you know, I mean, this is obviously a little bit of an exaggeration, but you know those people, those people who are just trying to do everything and, and actually getting nowhere. Um, they keep switching niches, right? They've, they've had two different um, niches in the, in, or niches, sorry, in the, same, in the same year, right? First they were doing uh, TikTok ads. Now they're doing uh, SEO or something like that, right? And so what you can observe is just this one person has so many different inputs. And so what's the lesson here? What am I trying to get, get across to you? Is to actually be relentless with your inputs, be relentless with, with what's coming in when it comes to your work, your leisure and your biology and your, your kind of, um, your, your needs, human, humanly speaking, right? Um, that is going to allow you to avoid being distracted and actually then therefore come, become more productive. So what does this look like for me, right? How have I been able to do this? How have I been able to uh, stay productive and, and build a, a company to half a million a year whilst studying at university. There's not a lot of people that have done that. Now, by no means am I saying I'm a really good entrepreneur. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm, at least I'm not yet. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm still learning, but I have been able to do this this, this thing, which is, uh, I think, definitely related to productivity. So for me, I can tell you for a fact that, let's start with, with biology, right? I can, I can literally list out the ingredients that I eat every single day. Can you, could, do you reckon you could do that? Could you tell me the ingredients that you eat? You might be asking why the hell is this important? Well, there's nothing more important in my opinion to your, your diet and your health and your productivity than, um, sorry, to your productivity and your health and your diet, right? We are literally what we eat, right? We are literally machines that are metabolizing constantly. We're burning energy and the, the input um, is, is going to be food, right? It's going to be calories. So what we're eating is incredibly important. And I don't think the entrepreneurial space really addresses that enough, right? You know, you get, you get some people saying, Hey, just eat whatever you want, you know? Um, and, and I'm not saying go crazy here. Right. Um, but I think it is important if you are in a season of trying to get stuff done, trying to be productive, this is what this is. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, you should try and limit your inputs all the time. You'd be a pretty boring human if you do, but when you're in a season of work, a monk mode, a season of no, whatever you want to call it, um, and you want to be productive, this is incredibly important, right? So let's talk about food. What do I eat? Right. Well, I eat a lot of steak. I eat my, my diet is predominantly made up of red meat. I'm eating eggs. I'm eating, uh, I'm having dairy products. So milk and milk and yogurt. I find that to actually work pretty well with, for me. I'm eating uh, berries, right? I'm eating fruit. I'm having honey as a, as a source of carbohydrates, right? Um, salt, right? That is a technically an ingredient. Um, I can literally sit here and list off the exact ingredients that I, that I eat, which means that there is no massive variation in things like my energy levels, in my mood. I know exactly uh, what, what's coming in. And so um, it gives me a huge degree of control and it, it, it honestly helps my productivity so much, actually knowing uh, my inputs there. Okay, whereas the, the average person, their list of ingredients is just completely endless, right? Um, and so, you know, they, they have a terrible time with productivity because their body is constantly adjusting to new foods. Your gut, I think aside from the brain, is the uh, biggest uh, energy drain in your entire body. And so giving it all these different foods is, is a terrible idea. You should be very consistent with what you eat. I know it's boring. And listen, hey, I, I'm not saying I don't cheat. You know, I'll occasionally go out for a meal and, and you know, enjoy myself. But when I'm in a season of productivity, this is incredibly important for me. Cool. So let's keep it to diet here. I mean, sleep is, is, is relatively simple. You just want to be, you know, you want to be getting good sleep. You don't want to be inconsistent there either. Let's talk about, about leisure. This is a really interesting one. So, you know, what we're doing here is defining our inputs, right? And, and this is, will become incredibly important when we get to work, right? Because when it comes to growing a business, knowing your inputs and just executing on them is literally all you need to do. You just need to know what you need to do and then do it. That is it. Right? There's no special secret business model. There's no special secret hack or trick to, to growing a company. Um, you just need to, to define your inputs like I've done here and then, and then do them, right? But let's look at leisure. So I think a lot of people go wrong here, right? I think a lot of people get distracted really easily because they actually haven't defined their leisure activities. Like what do you actually want your leisure time to look like, right? Think about it. You know, let's say, okay, let's say uh, we've got eight hours of work, right? We've got eight hours of sleep. That's 16 hours, so we've got eight hours of leisure as well here, right? 
24 hours in a day. Um, I really hope my math's correct from that, I believe it is. Um, probably not completely accurate, but let's just say that that's the case. It, it, there's probably more biology and less work, but whatever. Um, and so eight hours a day of, of leisure, right, activities. Um, you know, okay, okay, let's say, let's take, say 10 and six. That's probably a bit more accurate, isn't it? Because you've got to think about eating and, you know, your, your food breaks. But I think six is reasonable. Six hours a day of leisure activities, right? If you price your, your, your time at, you know, $10 an hour, that's $60 a day, right? Over the course of a year, that's thousands of dollars. Over like 50 years, it's millions of dollars, right? So using this time productively is incredibly important. Now, it doesn't have to be that you have to work in this time. Of course, if you're working constantly, you're going to get burnt out. That's not going to be very good for productivity. But it does, in my opinion, uh, make a huge difference if you if you use these leisure uh, these leisure hours for uh, for furthering yourself, for improving yourself, right? Especially in this kind of a season. So again, define your inputs, right? Have a accountable amount of, of inputs. If I ask you, what do you do for, for your leisure time? Like, what do you do? You might say to me, oh, I, you know, I, I go on YouTube, right? I watch a bunch of random YouTube videos. That's not, that's not a leisure activity. That's like me saying I, I walk into a library and just start reading random books for 10 minutes each. Like, okay, maybe that is a hobby, but it's a pretty terrible one, right? I think what you should do is instead say, hey, look, um, you know, for example, I go on I go on YouTube and I watch videos about uh, SMMA, right? That That is a definable ledger activity that can actually help you grow a business if you're running a social media marketing agency, if you're running an e-com brand. It's like, hey, I go on YouTube and I actually watch videos about, um, about this. Now, of course, you might want to take a break from business. Maybe you watch, uh, you know, some Jordan Peterson videos, you watch some podcasts, right? But actually just sticking to a, a, a ledger activity and being consistent with it is going to be so helpful because... If you're bouncing around and doing all these different things, watching all these different videos, it just leads to a really cluttered and distracted mind. You're going to have to have all these different opinions coming in, all these different inputs. You've really got to be relentless. You've got to guard your inputs, right? So for me, it's, you know, uh, podcasts, specifically podcasts about um, about business, life, product, you know, uh, philosophy, self-improvement, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, it's going to be reading, right? Uh, it's going to be going to the gym. It's going to be going to the spa, going to be, um, you know, just like knowing the stuff is so important. I see so many people who just don't know their leisure activities. And if you're not doing one of these things, then you're, you're distracted, right? You're wasting time. You're cluttering your brain up with all these different inputs, which is going to reflect when we get to work, right? And this is the really key bit, right? This is where you make the money, people, okay? So we've got to make sure that, that this is all good so that you can actually be productive here, right? So now let's get into to the inputs of your work, right? What are you inputting out there to produce value, produce money, right? For me, it's going to be content, right? What I'm doing right now. Now, I know this is a pretty broad area. And of course, you could argue, well, hey, there's people who make content that make hundreds of podcasts uh, a year. That's a, that's a lot of inputs, right? That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm really just talking about the areas, right, of, of your life, right? Having definable areas and then definable sub areas beneath that. So for example, content, I'm doing this right now. That's a that's a massive area of my work. We're also, I also do sales, right? Um, I also run ads, right? Um, and you know, being really conscious of the of the inputs that you're putting in is is super important. Now, again, we can go into more detail. So, for example, content. I'm writing sp a specific amount of tweets, a sp specific amount of YouTube videos, whatever it is. But at least I know what I'm doing. At least I know my inputs. At least I've defined my inputs, and um, and I know that they are what I need to do to get to the the goal that I want to get to. Now, of course, I've talked about this before on, on the channel. My main goal is to hit 100k a month with my agency. Um, you know, so uh, I have to make sure that I'm doing the things that, that is necessary to get there because obviously how else can you achieve your, your goal, right? You need to become the person that's capable of achieving your goal and the, 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 people, the, the person who's a, a capable of achieving 100K a month is someone who does, who produces content, who does really well with sales, who runs ads and generates leads, right? And so, yeah, this is, this is really just it. Like it's not, it's not complicated. Um, and let me kind of show you the, the sort of product of this, right? It's all well and good, uh, obviously, you know, knowing what to do, but but like what actually happens when you do all this stuff? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll show you a little example, right? Everyone's everyone's very familiar with this. This is this is obviously the goat Sam Ovens' uh, <laughs> original idea. Let's let's spice it up and go for some blue pen. Um, this is this is sort of you, right? This this little circle, right? It's your energy. Um, and what happens when you are you have all these various different inputs, right? You're, you're writing content for all these different businesses. You're making podcasts for five different businesses. You're having all this different food and whatever else. It means your outputs are going to be completely scattered, right? They're all going to go off in, in different directions, right? 
because your inputs are are contradictory, right? They 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 have they they kind of you know naturally lead to, to different outcomes, and so you're going you you're sort of uh, you know inputting all your energy, and you're getting all these different random outputs, right? And you're not actually getting anywhere, right? And so in this diagram, you know the the distance covered is is your progress, you know, um, and uh, you know this is obviously you know against time, like right? Let's say this is sort of like what happens in twelve months. And, you know, really the goal is to get, you know, as far as possible, but, but you've only, you know, done this, right? Whereas if you have definable inputs that are aligned towards one goal, you will see a much better outcome, right? You're going to go way further than other people. And, um, you know, again, I didn't invent this diagram, um, but I try and live by it as much as I possibly can. You know, just define your inputs, stick to your inputs um, while you're in a season of, of productivity and, and you're going to get way, way further than other people. And I mean, you know, why is this important? Like, why are you still listening to me ramble if you've gotten this far? It's like, this is the most important thing, man. Like, this is one of the most important things. Being like producing more output per unit of time is such a valuable asset. That is literally why people are successful or, or they're not, or why people are more successful than, than other people. It's genuinely just output per unit of time, right? Like, you know, you can have someone work on the same thing for, for 12 months, right? They work on building an agency, they work on, you know, building an e-com brand, whatever it is. Um, and, you know, one person, person one, right, they get to you know, 100K a month, right? In like one year. I wish I could, I wish I did that. You know, that would be great. Um, I haven't done that, you know? And I, 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 I genuinely just put that down to me not being um, as efficient as possible with my time, right? Not, not defining and, and executing upon my inputs as well as I could have. And, you know, person two, they might've got to, you know, I don't know, 60K a month, right? still pretty good. But then person three, they might've only got to, you know, 10K a month, right? Now I'm not shaming anyone here, but obviously the, this is, this is kind of the brutal truth of it, right? Some people get further than others in the same time frame because they have, uh, that they're, they're more efficient, right? They're more used, they, they have more output per unit of time. And so this is one of the most important things. It's so, so important to improve your productivity, not through like gimmicky, BS, guru stuff, that, that's really going to be like the, the top 5%. Really the meat and potatoes of this is, is just being able to define your inputs and, uh, and execute upon them. And that really is what is what, what productivity is. It's just doing what you're meant to be doing in good time, you know, um, where, you know, where people go wrong and where I still go wrong, um, you know, to this day is, is not doing the right stuff. It's as simple as that. Are you doing the right stuff or are you not? It's, it's not a case of, you know, oh, I, I, I've got the wrong business model, right? I talked about this in my last video with, with shiny object syndrome. You know, people are going to say, oh, he got to 100K a month because he was in, uh, you know, uh, real estate, right? No, it's, 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 not, it's not necessarily that. Now, yes, there is, again, some influence as to the vehicle that you're using to, to get to, to here, right? Um, but I, I, I would almost always say that the reason that, you know, person A has been successful is uh, because of their um, their inputs. They've, they've, they've executed upon the right inputs, which has then produced uh, a better quality output than the other person. And so what I've learned as well is, is to, be, to be patient. Like this all happens across a long period of time. There's a huge time delay between input and output. Like it's a real, it's a real lag and, uh, you know, it sucks because you'll be, you know, really putting the work in, going in full monk mode, you know, defining your inputs uh, and sticking to them and focusing on quality and not quantity, right, as well. That's a, a huge underlying theme here. You know, guarding your inputs, not allowing random YouTube videos, TikTok videos, people, opinions in, and you're not seeing any progress, right? But but what happens is just you get exponential growth, um, you know, over time. So, and that's that's really what you know allows you to to achieve this. So anyway, I won't ramble on for too much longer. I wanted to keep this this one relatively short. But in summary, if you want to ten x your productivity, improve the amount of money you're you're making, and and produce the most amount of output, you need to be ruthless 
with your inputs. Define your inputs for each area of your life and stick to them. And I mean, for Christ's sake, like, you know, you can choose how, how extreme you want to get with this. There's no right answer. Um, but for me, I, I, I even limit the, the, the people that I talk to, right? <laughs> like I even limit the, my, my social aspect. Again, not always, not when I'm in, you know, seasons of, of, of resting and relaxing and stuff like that. But, um, but right now when I'm purely focused, I literally talk to my girlfriend, my family and like a couple friends and that's it. And I, you know, that might sound sad, fair enough, but, um, but it, you know, it's working pretty well for me, um, when it comes to this. Uh, so yeah, define your inputs, stick to your inputs and eventually you will get the output you deserve. That is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please subscribe or follow me. Um, no other CTA, no course. Uh, I've got nothing to sell you. Just, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.